Okay, so with this look, we're going to show you how to create the perfect ponytail. We're going to show you how to do it quickly and easily at home. Firstly, we're going to take a bristle brush and we're just going to brush through the hair, making sure we haven't got any knots and we've got a bit of movement to the hair. Over the crown, we're just going to take some very big sections of hair and just put a little bit of back brushing in the hair. So we'll section the hair off. We'll work through just gently at the roots, just back brushing the hair. This, this can help us increase the size of the hair and give us more hair to work with. So I'll just repeat that step again. Take the brush in at the roots and I've got a kind of rolling method going on with the brush. This creates a little bit of frizz, a little bit of movement. Gives me a very editorial finish on the hair. I'm going to continue through the sides and this really is simple at home. You take your little finger, section the hair off, take the brush, create your back brush sections, take your next section, repeat the same thing again and we've now got a lot more hair to work with. I'm now going to gently run the bristles over the hair and you can now see the volume that we've created earlier. Just giving me more than I would have if I had just an ordinary sleek look. So now to create the looseness on the hair, I'm gonna use my fingers. And we get a nice separation doing it this way. I'm just gonna bring all the hair back off the face. I'm gonna elevate the hair at the bottom Ponytails are all about placement and to make this feel more catwalk, more editorial, I'm going to place the ponytail in the centre of the head rather than the classic place at the nape. I'm just going to take an ordinary hairband, double it over once, put my ponytail in, separate the ponytail in two, so we get it nice and secure. Just check I've got and placed where I want to be placed. Any bits of hair sticking out, that creates quite a nice editorial finish, quite a loose finish. And there we have the basis of my ponytail. A great way of hiding the hairband is just to take a section of hair from underneath from your ponytail, about this big. You can wrap this around, covering the hairband up. Take one Kirby grip, and just open that up. Take that section of hair, and secure it in place. And there, we have a hidden ponytail. I just turn Ella around. Ponytail placed at the centre of the head and the hairband completely hidden by, the, by our own hair. At this point we're about to start creating the second part of the look. So this is a good point just to put a little bit of hairspray on. You don't need to use much but it just creates that bit of hold and finish to this hair that's already in place. I'm now going to take the ponytail, just use my bristle brush. I'm using the same technique that I used on the top, but I'm actually back brushing the ponytail. It's very important that a ponytail has a lot of preparation work done to it if you're going to be twisting it into a bun. I now have something that could be a look within itself. You know, we have a dressed out, textured ponytail that can feel like its own look. What I'd like to do is just twist this into a little bun, and a little knot, create my second editorial look. I'm now going to very lightly brush over the top of the ponytail, so I've still got the size, but it's a little bit smoother. 
and then with my fingers, I'm going to twist, twist this around and every time I make a turn, I'm going to take a little V pin and just secure it into the hair. So I take my second turn, I take my second V pin, secure that into the hair. I keep rolling the hair until I have a very casual, very textured bun. This really is a catwalk look that you can achieve in minutes at home. Again, secure that with a little bit of hairspray. And don't use much, it's very important to have the hairspray well away from the hair so that the, the flow of spray mixes with the air and doesn't doesn't create a sticky producted feel to the hair. This is Airfix by Techniart, which is a really, really good spray to use for this because you can brush it straight out. Okay, so if I turn Ella this way, you'll see the detail of the bun. You can see it's a casual bun with an editorial feel and you can see how that works with the hair taken off the face and just gives a really strong editorial finish.